Yo, what is going on you guys? Ron here with Get Fat Food. Today you see I am on my GoPro and I'm going to be taking you on a, a ride today, a ride along with my work, which is food delivery. And this is Get Fat Food where we eat like pigs with just a little bit of class, just a little bit. And yeah, I just wanted to take you guys along for the ride um i am out here at a plaza right now and i haven't gone online yet but i believe i have enough gas and i want to take you guys on a little excursion a little adventure to see how much money i can make today today i am doing lunch and dinner uh right now it's lunchtime, so it's about if you can see the time there i don't think you can but it's 11 o'clock exactly so I'm about to get my lunch rush on. Now, uh, I did try uh, multi-apping, and I'll talk to you more about it later. Um, but it is a little difficult for me. I'm not very good at multitasking. So today, I am just going to do uh, Uber Eats on lunch uh, shift and DoorDash uh, for dinner shift. So... My lunch shift, I am doing Uber Eats because on DoorDash, I noticed that if I go on lunch shift, there's a lot of Safeway orders. Safeway is our local grocery, um, major grocery chain here in uh, NorCal, Northern California. So I don't want to do those because they suck. <laughs> they really do suck. So anyways, you guys, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get on to go to work. And let me log on to Uber Eats here. And let's see what we can get. There you go. I am online. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So I got my first job. And I was waiting. I've been waiting for about 10 minutes here. So didn't really get anything good on Uber Eats. So I turned on DoorDash as well. And now I got to pick up at Wingstop. Hopefully I get something else on Uber Eats as well. If not, that's okay. I'll just go ahead and turn it, uh, log off or go offline and then pick up again wherever I can. So that's how I multi-app. It's not really multi-apping. Uh, but yeah, let's see what I can do. Uh, and this order is going to be for $6.75, but it's only like a mile away. So uh, that's not bad. So let's go and do it. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm a little early, too. It says pick up by 11.22. Right now, it's only 11.10. So hopefully, again, I get something else on Uber Eats. But right now, DoorDash is giving me something. So, yeah, let's see how much I can make for my lunch shift, guys. I'll pick it up again in a little bit. All right, you guys, we are back. I got my Wingstop order here. Let's cover that up. Nothing from Uber Eats, you guys. It's kind of crazy. So let's go ahead and go to deliver this. Oh, Starbucks. No thanks. Head southeast toward Junipero Serra Boulevard. Let me turn that down so you guys don't know where I'm going. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys could see, right? But whatever. Cool, let's go. This is our first order of the day. Oh, I got my dash cam, you guys. Kind of cool. Just in case something goes down, I am ready. So, they want me to go on around here. So, let me go around. Coming on that side. Okay, Uber Eats, six miles. Black Bear Diner going to SF. No thanks. That's 
too far to where I want to stay. I want to stay in the suburbs, you guys. Oh! Just gonna see that the phone fell, dude. Guess I didn't have it like totally in there. All right, so we'll go deliver this, and I'll give you guys an update in a bit. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, just drop that off. Let's go see if we can get something else. Let me actually let me just go straight. I need to go back to that red zone. I'm a little disappointed that uh I mean I've been getting orders from uh getting orders from Uber Eats. The only thing is they've all sucked. So they were like, you know, cost per mile, or they were only like five bucks. And yeah, I just wasn't feeling it, man. I need like, like this one was only one and one and a half miles for like seven bucks. Look at this one. Starbucks. Isn't that a little far? Let's try it. Let's try it. Wow, so I got a pickup in Pacifica, Starbucks, and drive all the way back here, which is, um, you know, to be honest, not too far, but this was a 11, dollar 69 order i don't usually like doing starbucks because i'm scared of spilling coffee and stuff but let's give it a shot you know let's see what we can do haven't noticed by now I am in the San Francisco Bay Area this is where I work I try not to work in the city or San Francisco itself because maybe I'm just chicken but you know parking sucks and so like I've said before I believe the best way to uh, hang on. Okay. Wait, why am I going this way to pick up at Hickey Boulevard? What? That doesn't make sense. does not make sense at all so I just entered this freeway for nothing come on man well look at the view at least you guys <laughs> at least you get a nice view of the ocean this is uh, Pacifica California I have noticed that the beaches here in uh, Northern California they are not meant for you know swimming and stuff I mean you can swim but there is rarely a uh, lifeguard on duty because the waters here are so choppy and 
there's like rip currents so unless you're like a hardcore surfer you know what you're doing you got a wetsuit on because the water's hella cold over here then yeah I don't understand the Google Maps. Why did it tell me to go this way? I just, oh. Okay, so I just came to Pacifica for nothing. Jeez. That's why you gotta know, it's important to know your area, guys. Me, I just kind of blindly follow Google Maps, whatever they give me. And I do need Google Maps because, you know, when I do deliver, obviously I don't know exactly where their house is, right? But, man, that sucks. I don't know why it took me this way. It was, that was really stupid. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying this content so far. <laughs> oh, wait. It's making me... Oh, okay. So I think the Starbucks they want me to go to is in Pacifica. You know, plaza, a small plaza that has like a Safeway and Starbucks there. I just don't understand why I had to go this way. I really don't. It just doesn't make sense. I'm actually wasting more gas and putting more mileage. Mileage is so crucial when you're doing this kind of job. Okay, 35 south. It's a nice, dreary, cloudy day in the Bay Area, like always. It's always like, it's like majority of the time it's like this. And then I think one month, a year, it's like sunny and hot. But pretty much it's always like this because we're right next to the beach, right next to the ocean. So yeah. guys let's go and pick up at Starbucks and I'll pick it up from there all right you guys picked up my Starbucks order luckily it's packaged kind of well here and yeah let's get going so we can deliver this we can deliver this You know, I wish <clears throat> DoorDash and Uber Eats would like have a baby, <laughs> and, you know, because there's some features on Uber Eats I love, and there's some features on DoorDash I love, and there's features that I hate on both platforms. So I wish they would just get together and, uh, you know, mesh together and maybe have a good, uh, make a baby that's like the perfect food delivery app like perfect but of course they're not going to do that because they hate each other hopefully the coffee doesn't spill man jeez and well yeah 
I noticed something on Uber Eats. It's uh, once you when you uh, del when you pick something up and deliver, and when you do a job, it's uh, you don't know how much they're going to tip you right off the bat. So even though this job was eleven at eleven dollars, I don't know if it's going to become fourteen dollars or whatever. You know. Oh, I'm actually going this way. Yeah, the tips, the, the customer has an hour to uh, change the tip. So if you did a great job, or, you know, if you communicated with a customer in case there was like an issue, oh, you go right. Then, uh, yeah, you can, you can change the tip. So it's a little weird because you won't know how much you really made until like hours later, you know. And even though they say they have one hour to change the tip, it does uh, sometimes, sometimes I've, I've noticed the Uber Eats app or the Uber Driver app takes a while to update. And yeah, and you're also able to send thanks for the tip. So I guess they just shoot them with like a quick email saying the driver said thanks. I don't know. You know, as a customer, I think I've only used Uber Eats one time. And I stopped because I ordered McDonald's and the order was wrong. And <laughs> that pissed me off, so I just kind of stopped. But hey, now I'm working for them. So, yeah. And a lot of times, you guys, the orders are like sealed in a bag in a paper bag or whatever usually it's a paper bag and so you can't even check the order you can't look in there um, they tell you not to open the bag so if the it's kind of cool because if the if the restaurant messes up that's on them it's not on you let's see what is this I just accepted another job for about six dollars um, getting some boba drinks all right guys we'll pick it up later what's going on you guys checking in now it's about 12 43 I just finished my last delivery it was my first alcohol delivery actually um, but I wanted to check up on the hill here I don't know if you guys can see that view look at that crazy sorry it's a little windy check that out you guys it's badass man that's the yay area so let's get to driving you know, I've noticed something today, you guys. Uber Eats has been pretty stupid today. And I don't know what it is. So I see here, it says you've got a tip. So thanks for the tip. But yeah, you guys. Let's keep on driving. It's 12.44. I still got like a couple hours left. I wanted to... So my goal for lunch is $100. Let's see how much I've made so far. What? $25.69? Jeez. And then on uh, DoorDash, I did one order. And it was like six something. Let me see. Yeah, $6.75. So... What is that? I've only made like 30 bucks. Jeez. And it's been an hour 45 minutes. So 
I rejected a bunch because they all sucked or they went to McDonald's. I'm trying to stay away from fast food. But yeah. So. Let's get on with it. Hopefully we can get some here. Seems like San Francisco is busy, but again, I do not want to go to the city. It's too, uh, it's too crazy. So let's go down the hill here. You know, there's a bunch of bike paths here and bicycling is a big thing here, but man, it is crazy. Let me go this way, the way it came. It's crazy how these hills are, and you want to do it on a bike, bicycle. Here we go. Round table pizza. Let's do it. Sixteen dollars. Let's do it. Head southwest on South Hill Boulevard to Portal. Well, yeah, you guys, uh, there's some great views over here, too, on my way down. Just wanted to show you guys. Sorry, my. I don't know if I should get a chest mount, you guys, but right now I have the head mount. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And as you can see, it was sunny, just like a couple blocks down that back. A dollar sixty? Hell no! For two miles? <laughs> nope. There's some great views this way. Luckily, you're on the head cam. And so you guys can uh, see what I'm looking at. Can you believe that? An extra dollar sixty. What? For two? An extra two miles? Get out of here. So we're heading to Round Table Pizza here in Daly City. We'll see what we can get here. So this is what they call, I guess, like the Crocker Amazon district or area. And this is kind of considered like the hillside. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Damn, dog. It's crazy. So let's head on over. All right, you guys, I went ahead and picked up that round table pizza order and we are on our way to deliver it. And it's gonna go to the city of Brisbane, California, which is south of San Francisco. And it is kind of like right next to daily city sort of so daily city's on the west side of the nipple i, li I like to call it the nipple of california because it's uh <laughs> the peninsula and the city's at the edge of the nipple but uh yeah it's on the west side of the nipple towards the pacific ocean and brisbane is on the other side of the nipple so you know facing in the bay pretty big orders like three big pizzas so not bad i got it here in my my black bag i gotta constantly clean this bag out man it's you know whenever i put wings or pizza in it it's just smells like pizza and wings like forever
there's some good views on the way. Uh, fun fact, I used to work in Brisbane, California. And then I, uh, I didn't, obviously I don't work there anymore. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a good area. It's a nice small town, I guess you could say. That's right next to the big city. So I feel like a lot of people who live in Brisbane, they work in San Francisco. guy over there he's selling fruits a girl I can't see strawberries mangoes I think I see grapes you know you kind of get discouraged when you see your Uber Eats app and you're not making that much you know but you know again the tips come in later so Hopefully I've made like 40 by now. It is now 1 o'clock. Yeah, just uh, just keep on trucking here. I'm going to take my break. Hopefully by 3, I want to take my lunch. And then 4 o'clock, I'm going to start DoorDash for my night shift. And the goal today is to reach $200, so I don't know. We'll see. Not on any one particular app, but uh, combined, you know, just me working pretty much. What is that? It's like a tree, a truck that holds trees or cleans trees, I think. Probably got to do, uh, you know, like maintenance here on the side of the road <clears throat> okay here's the view you guys the sun is out now the area where I used to work is uh, there was uh, a lot of it's pretty much an industrial area and then the actual city of Brisbane is a small town and it's kind of surrounded surrounded by industrial areas so all right up ahead we got like uh, the Geneva area of San Francisco slash daily city you know the city lines are a little crazy like they're way off the only way you can tell you're in Bailey City is the street signs are blue. Look at that. Nice. Alright guys, catch up with you in a bit. What is going on you guys? Finally you get to see my face. <laughs> so right now it is uh what time is it it is 2 30 and i just want to give you guys an update i think it's pretty slow now so i think lunch rush is over but let me see let me give you my earnings here so i did a couple doordash deliveries so here's one, 675. 
And then 575. Was that like 12, about 1250, right? Okay, so 1250 plus on Uber Eats. I've done $77. So almost at my 100. Oh well. Anyways, I just looked at the footage from the GoPro and it looks like you guys are just looking at like the the roof of my car. So sorry about that. I'm wearing the head thing, so it's kind of hard to see. I don't know where you guys what you guys are looking at. So I do have a GoPro Sessions. I bought it like a couple years ago. It's like a, you know, one of those tiny GoPros. So <laughs> I'm about to eat lunch here, you guys. So not sure what I want to eat. But yeah. What's going on, you guys? I'm about to go back out. This time the family wants to come with. So fine. So just a quick update on my Uber Eats. I actually got more than I thought. Just like I said, the tips roll in quite a bit later. So I made 88 off here and 12 bucks on a couple deliveries of DoorDash. So technically I hit my $100 goal for lunch. So it's about a little bit after four and I want to hit another hundred tonight. I uh, can't stay out too late. Obviously, I got the kid with me. He's got to go to bed like around 9, so probably end up 8.30 or something. Might eat dinner out there. I didn't film my lunch because I don't want to spend money. <laughs> so let's get back out there and see what I can get. Cool. What is going on you guys? It is the end of my night shift. It is 8.20 and I'm heading home with an order Krispy Kreme Donuts and uh, I got the family with me and so you know we got to get ready for bed and all that so, uh, we usually try to make our kid go to bed by nine o'clock on a school night so last one now unfortunately I didn't hit my goal of a hundred dollars for dinner but I believe I came close Sorry about that so now I am at about, I think I made about 70 bucks, including this delivery. So, it's not super bad, right? Made about 170 today. My goal is 200. It's okay, sometimes you fall short. I could keep going, but you know, that's the beauty about this job. I could like stop working whenever I want so anywho heading out on our last delivery here we are going to be on Skyline Highway Skyline <laughs> called We're heading to the city it's the last one and then we'll head home hopefully you guys enjoyed the video there's a Krispy Kreme right here hope you guys enjoyed the video I appreciate you guys watching and watching me hustle watching me try to make that money All in all, I think I worked seven hours today, total. Came out around 
Oh no, maybe like eight hours. Right, honey? I don't know. What time did we come out here? Four, like 4.30 or something, okay. almost five. Yeah. So that's four hours, but yeah, I did like eight hours today. Of course, not every hour I had an order, uh, but yeah, there were some slow times. But now, we're on our way. It is Thursday, I believe, when you do Fridays, Saturdays. Those are like the busiest days, sometimes Sundays. I tried multi-apping a little bit. Um, I'm not great at it. I just need to keep practicing, you know? Getting better at looking at the maps. And today, Google Maps just lost so much points with me. Like, even just earlier, I did a, a delivery to an apartment complex and Google Maps made me go to the back of the apartment complex. So I was like, what? This isn't it. I don't know what's wrong with it. And I noticed it only happens when I use Google Maps through the Uber Eats app. You know what I mean? So I accept, you know, I accept the order, I pick it up, and then it takes me all the way, or no, it takes me to an address that's close by, close by to where I need to drop off, but not exactly where I need to drop off. And so even my customer like uh, messaged me saying, hey dude, I, I think I just saw you pass by, you know, and that just, that's so embarrassing. So embarrassing to, to do that. So I don't know. Maybe I should just manually enter the addresses from now on, just so that uh, it doesn't mess with me, but it's only with Uber Eats. I noticed with DoorDash, it's fine. So, yeah, I just wanted to get some night driving in for you guys. It's kind of misty right now. Drizzling, I guess you could call it. My kid is asleep and my girl is just sitting there <laughs> not doing anything yeah sometimes they want to roll with me and that's good that's fine I find it easier because I don't have to like you know lock up the car make sure that no one can jack me because I got the girl in here and my girl she can kick some ass <laughs> no. She a linebacker. <laughs> oh, we gotta go on the left here. Anyway, you guys, it was a good day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you, my few subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for your support. Keep safe and healthy, you guys support your local businesses and uh i'll see you guys in the next one hopefully an eating video <laughs> all right guys bye peace